<laughs> oh my goodness graciousness. Okay, deadly tarantula girl coming to you from my private serpentarium. Ugh, I'm getting a headache. Is your hair still up? Yes. Yes, deadly reptile man. Do you have a question? Yes. Let your <laughs> locks flow. I have a question. Yes. Why is that so fat? Why is that so fat? Question of the day. Viewers, leave your responses for why that is so fat. Because they're gluttonous. Have you ever seen one of these guys eat? They're cray cray. <laughs> so a lot of times, so let's say I dump a dozen crickets in there. They'll get one in their pinchers, one in these legs, one in these legs, and they'll wrap around it, and then they'll just go gobble them up. Oh, sounds dangerous to They're me. opportunistic feeders. They're insectivores. They're carnivorous. And the fatter and juicier the little bugs are, the better. Okay. There you go. There's your answer. A quick unboxing from Color Morph Creations, Ed Villardo. So this guy's out of California, I would assume, since it says 707. I'm a Cali girl. So this whole package was sent to us thanks to Earl Jones, Lone Star Reptiles. He's the man. Anyway, so this company is making wonderful tub liners. They claim that their liners are 100% recyclable, biodegradable, virgin natural paper. I just got these two beautiful Scolopindra Heros Castaneceps. People call them red-headed centipedes. So we have this beautiful specimen here. It is quite lovely. Delivered to us by the beautiful Hank Thaddeus. Yeah, so additionally, she's probably such a girthy gal because I'm hoping that she's full of little eggs. I have a medium and a large arboreal enclosure. So say why deadly tarantula girl? Why arboreal? This is a terrestrial species. Why deadly tarantula girl? They're born with... What? <laughs> Did you hear that? He wants to know why I'm gonna put a terrestrial species in an arboreal enclosure. So really awesome. He and Earl hate that I use newspaper. So Yes, he sent me some liners to try. <laughs> so this is the V18 size. It comes pre-cut, which I love because who doesn't like to clean in a hurry? So it looks like this is just the liner right here. Try not to make it sure I don't damage them. So I think that's this is these are actually the liners right here. I'm a terrible cutter, if you guys haven't figured out. Okay. So, yeah, this is, these are the liners right here. So I don't know if this is normally how they come, just kind of, ooh, look at that. It's pretty thick. I kind of, I don't know why I was visualing like, more like a tissue paper. This is pretty thick, so. I would imagine it's pretty absorbent. I like that this, it's big enough to have like a little lip on the side. Very nice. Oh, uh, here's my water dish. I will tell you why, since you wanted to know so badly. Um, don't mind my accent. <laughs> <laughs> this is a terrestrial species that does burrow. And so one thing I've learned about keeping pretty much any species of centipede is that they like deep damp substrate which they can make a whole cavern system kind of like an ant farm digs little tunnels that's what centipedes like to do this can go badly but i just did a live with my producer where we talked about the fabulous venom of this particular species and it's not the funnest bite in the world so look at that Are you feeling super comfortable right now, Deadly Reptile Man? <laughs> He's super comfortable right now. Me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, centipedes are pretty crazy. See, they climb with all their happy little feet. 
Some people say that their feet envenomate you and that is not true. Although their feet do have little grabbers on them so they kind of like will pinch into you. <laughs> with, I already felt it. <laughs> with all their little toes. Okay, come on bugger. Come on bugger. When you do see a wild caught specimen. Oh my God. Um, they can have mites on them. A lot of times they're missing appendages. Usually they can live just fine that way. So because we just prepared the substrate for them, it's nice and damp. So I'm not even gonna water, gonna kinda let them settle down. And then I'll feed them either later tonight or tomorrow. So here comes the fun one. You wanna do this or you want me to have it? <laughs> I'll let the experts do okay. it. <laughs> okay. So I'm just gonna throw my uh, Mojave Yellow Belly Baby on this liner and this lovely lady is one of my hold backs and uh isn't she pretty what oh. do you think deadly reptile man so gorgeous so gorgeous i want to court right now <laughs> all right well uh, if you ever want to come visit her she'll be nice and clean mm. on her new substrate she's gonna go into my v18 rack yes thank you deadly reptile man if you would just um and i know that um some of you have fancy label makers, but I started using folded up scotch tape back in the day. Hey, what's up girl? Hi honey. And it's just easy, so I still do. Just plain old scotch tape and you just fold the corners so the labels are transferable. So anyway, she's gonna go into my V18 and I will do a follow up video to let you know what I think of these lovely liners. I'm sure they're gonna be great. They're definitely prettier and easier to use than newspaper. But I like newspaper because I recycle it. Some people say that the ink is really bad and stuff like that. I've never had an issue with it, but I don't know, maybe that's like saying McDonald's won't kill you because you haven't died yet, and so you just keep eating it, and then boom, heart failure. Yeah, Ugh. I know. Heart oh, I actually ate a basket of fries this weekend. Not a whole basket of fries, but most of a basket of fries. So um, be watching in the news for my heart attack. Make sure and check out Color Morph Creations. I will, if they have a website or anything, which it looks like they do. Oh, it says they're on YouTube. Maybe they have a channel. I'll link all their information below. And so what's your favorite sinful food? Big Mac. Ooh, juicy. Yep. So uh, this is a one gallon enclosure and she's just taking a nice little nap. Oh my God. <laughs> See how easy that was? She barely even woke up from her nap. She's crawling around, not really crawling around. <gasps> oh my goodness graciousness. So she's not being very active, which she kind of tore the wet paper towel up right away. So she might have been dehydrated. Also, she might have just been sprayed with uh, some kind of pesticide or something. She might be dying. So I'll keep a close eye on her. If she does just kind of like curl up and is dead by tomorrow, I'll definitely, definitely discard of all this substrate because it could be tainted with pesticide and uh, clean this ink, close her out and keep it kind of put away until the half-life of the pesticide no longer is Sounds like a coronavirus. Thing. Dangerous, yeah, almost like coronavirus. So take a take a look at her little face there. Oh, Isn't she a cutie pie? <laughs> okay, thoughts on Scolopendra Heros Castaniceps? Creepy. Creepy. Yeah. So you're you're in agreement with 99.9% .9 of the world's population. I personally think they're really amazing and incredible. So here's the neat thing about moms with offspring. They actually lay all their eggs. They wrap around them. They don't make a cocoon. The eggs are just in a little circle. And every day, so they stay wrapped around them. They get each one and they clean it off and turn it. Mm. And they guard them. So they make a circle and they keep the eggs in the middle. And it's really cute. Sounds like a snake doing her thing. Kind of. Yes, reptiles don't usually clean their eggs, but they do guard them. Oh. Well, some species guard them. And yeah, they, they temperature regulate and things like that. So that was a uh, centipede rehouse. 
Yes, right there. So let me know if you have any questions and we'll see you guys soon. See ya.